viewers we're sitting out here in the yard getting a train ready and the reason we're doing this is because one of my viewers asked a question which is why can't you drive with the gen fields off so i'm just setting this locomotive up and we're just about there i just want to put the independent brake on so we don't roll away all right now the reason you can't is because it's a diesel electric locomotive the diesel engine drives through a coupling and either a generator for a DC powered locomotive or an alternator for an AC powered locomotive. They're essentially the same from that sort of perspective. They both generate electricity, they both use electricity to drive traction motors. So what happens if I put my reverser into forwards and right now I've got engine run and I've got the gen field off. So if I throttle up nothing much really happens because I haven't got engine run on and I don't have the gen field on all right so let me throttle back down again let me turn on gen by itself so we still don't have engine run on so again nothing happens the engine's quite capable of idling but it can't power so let's switch off gen and turn on engine run and as we throttle up now let me just make sure the window's open so you can hear it because it's a comfort cab you'll hear the engine start to get louder. Hear the sound change? But we're still not actually producing any power. And if I release the independent brake, we won't go anywhere because we're not making any power. All right, so let me take that back down to idle again. And this time, I'm going to put the gen field on now that we're back down low. And what you'll see on this gauge here, it shows braking for the dynamics and powering for when the locomotive is pulling the train or pushing if it's in that position. See the needle start to move, so we're now generating power. So with engine run and gen field on, we're actually generating some power. So you can see what's happening here. We're starting to move off. So I'll just stop this train again. Now, just to, uh, for completeness. Okay, so we're looking in the section of the Amtrak FP40 PH manual for starting a train and here are the things place the isolation switch in the run position that's on the back wall of the cab move the reverser handle to the desired direction either forward or reverse place engine run and generator field switches in the on or up position release the automatic and independent air brakes open the throttle one notch every few seconds as follows to number one loading will stop at a specific low value you might have noticed the power meter didn't go up very much or to two or three or higher, depending on the demand that you need. After you've stretched the train out, advance the throttle as desired. So, just to cover things, this is the actual Amtrak manual for the locomotive. Just saying. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful and educational because, well, it's just the way things are. See you later. Thanks for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. I always like to get your feedback in the form of likes and comments because they help me understand what you want. Give the channel a subscribe and click on the tinkly things so you don't miss out on any new stuff. And thanks for your ongoing support. And please, be safe out there.